Just visit the new calgaryherald.com with more of everything worth knowing. Well, Spruce Mountain's been going on for 34 years, and I've probably been here about 30 years of them. So i uh, missed the odd one, but been here for most. No, not with this facility. It's, it's the top one in the world, and the Southern family, every year you, you, you always think, what could they possibly do more? And you come back and you find out they've done something different, something more innovative. It's, they're, they're, they're unbelievable how, they're, how forward thinking they are, um, and, and it reflects in everything that goes on here at Spruce Meadows. Well, I think we, we're, we're year-round. You know, we start in, um, well, we start, we never, <laughs> there used to be a starting and a finish. Now there isn't that. It just goes all year-round one way or the other. Um, and so we're, we're always competing, and it's just a matter of bringing the right horses here, having them ready to go, getting them here healthy and, and fit, mm -hmm. because it's quite a trip from Eastern Canada. And in style, he, he flies with FedEx, but the rest of them come in the truck. <laughs> now it's a fancy truck, but still it's a truck, and it's 42 hours for them. So they need to be fit and strong for that. You get, get them out here early enough so they can recover, and then make sure they're ready to play. And uh, it's very, very serious jumping here. They're high and they're wide, and you better be on your game, or not only are you not going to be, you're not going to win, but you're probably going to get banged up a little too. It's, it's serious jumping. I guess the uh, most memorable moment would be the retirement of Big Ben. It was a fantastic day and it was a record crowd and uh, it was the, the Southerns and Spruce Meadows <clears throat> gave him a great big blanket for his retirement that said thanks for the memories Big Ben. And it was a very, very moving day for me here. And, you know, I mean we've had some great victories here uh, some years ago in the Nations Cup team in September. Daughter Amy and Jonathan and I were three parts of that team and Jill Henselwood, a student of mine, was, was the fourth and that, so that was a great, great uh, adventure to do that. And um, I mean, there's been so many moments, but I'd say the retirement of Big Ben was the, was the main one. Oh, it's fantastic, fantastic. I went through a stage uh, a long time ago. They, both Jonathan and Amy were away from Lynn and I for six years doing other things. And um, I missed them tremendously. And when they came back and we all started working together, I, I guess I hadn't realized how terribly I missed them. And it just it reinvigorated me tremendously to work with them and continues to do so. And they'll come out in the warm-up area with me or when I'm training a horse and they'll give me input. And uh, it's more like we're, we're like partners and it's, it's not like I'm their father or their boss or their trainer or anything else. We're each other's trainers and uh, it's a very supportive type group. Oh yeah, I, lo I love to do it. and. Um, as long as I stay healthy and have good horses under me, I'll, I'll keep doing it.